Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Oh, oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here's Drez and Big Nate. Do you want to do you want to tap it for good luck? Sure. I don't know what. I, I can't imagine that's gonna explode or anything. I God, I hope not. There it is. It's just such a tradition. There it is. The old crack on a Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store right there in downtown Blacksburg. If you're looking for some good beer. Good food. They got it all. And um, today's a, a, another Booze Day Tuesday. This is our second of the year, man. We're really pounding in the, the liquor. We did uh, we did something fun with the Irish Coffee Day. And now, since it's Potato Day, National Potato Day, I guess you know we could have came in here and chewed on some chips and stuff. But we figured when you think potato and booze, your mind goes to vodka. Which, uh, interestingly enough, they were not as easy to find as I had. Like, I went down to the store, and I don't know if it's supply chain issues, but uh, I was only able to find two. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Um, you know, I, I don't know why vodka is so synonymous with potatoes, but, like, I, I mean, I guess I probably knew not all of it was potato vodka. I, I did do uh, a, a little research on it. It was uh, because of the availability of potatoes. Uh, a lot of the times the vodka was made at home. And potatoes were just easy to come by. So, uh, so I guess it is, I suppose it's just like a lot of, I mean, it pretty much you can make booze with pretty much anything. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were, as long as it'll ferment, we were, when we were looking through it, it was amazing. Like some of the weird little different adjuncts they have. There's a lot of wheat, a lot of wheat, which is, uh, usually what I'm used to. I've not had a large, an abundance of potato experience. Other than your usual potato chips. Good Lord. I'm so like, <laughs> so many liquids over here on my side. Yeah, of we're, course. So, uh, so first things first, I guess. So you did find, you found two. We'll do one the first round and then the next round we'll try the other. What vodka is a legit potato vodka that they had at the ABC store so for you? I, we actually got lucky. We'll talk about the other one in the second one. I'm really excited for that one. But uh, this is Polish vodka. It's Luxusoa, I think is how it's pronounced on the bottle. It says... Uh, They've been distilling it since 1928, and uh, they won a gold medal in 2016. So well, I'm gonna go ahead and try it yeah, straight a little yeah. bit. I know you're still mixing and making concoctions straight, over there because yeah. we're gonna try it straight first. Because I mean, you need a baseline, and then we did decide to go with uh, our two go-to uh, vodka drinks. So I don't, I don't ever drink vodka straight. I can never imagine or remember really being people doing like even just shots of vodka. So I, but, I, I do. Um, it's funny, you know, you have that experience in college. Everyone's familiar with, with Burnett's or, uh, Oh yeah. What's the other bottom shelf one. But I I elevated above that. Like as soon as I graduated college, I started collecting absolute bottles because I just love the shape of their bottle. So for the, for a long time, I was switching back and forth between bourbon and absolute. And mm. so is absolute your absolute favorite. Oh, absolutely. It's so smooth. (laughs) See, I go, I go Smirnoff. But that was mainly because I had stock in Diageo, and that's their vodka. So, But I actually sold all that stock, so I guess I can stop buying Schmirnoff and start buying other vodkas now, and I'd feel better about it. But I don't think vodka is really for sipping. Nope. Like, it's not like whiskey. They can no. be like, not, this is just. Ugh. But also, yeah, I mean, I guess this is maybe not top amazing vodka, but that first sip, I was just like, whew. The, the, the second segment's bottle was on the top shelf, but I don't know how much of an indicator that is for vodka okay one shot down yeah I, I would not recommend drinking it straight no uh i think you need to mix it or cut it with something i know some people uh some people do the straight up vodka water uh i know that that's one of the healthiest if you have if you really want to drink but you want to try and watch your weight or whatever i think that that's one of the healthiest things to do is just vodka water probably straight up but yeah, uh i, I that- i'm more of a fan of the screwdriver yeah, I'm uh, myself rocking the vodka cranberry over here because, uh, well, who doesn't love cranberry juice? So fun fact, do you know why? First things first, for those that don't know, uh, 
because I was surprised. I feel like in this country, most people know, but over in uh, Scotland and Europe and stuff, I guess they just don't call it screwdriver. So I remember that was a trivia question at the pub one night, and they were like, what is in a screwdriver? I was just like, oh, that's pretty easy. It's orange juice and vodka. And it's my go-to, uh, you know, morning if I'm drinking, doing the day drinking thing. But do you know why it's called a screwdriver? I do not. So uh, I'm going to mess up the uh, the names and the year and whatever. But way back in the day, uh, you know, factory worker days, I mean, I'm guessing probably like uh, 10s, 20s, 1920s or something. Um, I guess there was this guy that worked in this factory, and that was one of his go-to things was in the morning, you know, he would uh, – he would drink vodka and orange juice, and to stir it, to mix it, he would just grab a screwdriver and and use that as like a stir. And so it got to the point where they would just refer to it as like, oh, hey, John, why don't you grab that screwdriver? You know, like, and then they just started saying screwdriver. They'd use that synonymous, <laughs> basically as like kind of almost code or jokingly, that, oh, I got to go get a screw, I got to go grab a screwdriver, That's- you know? And then that means like you're getting the orange juice. I mean that that seems so obvious. I, I was thinking maybe like like I knew it was going to be someone working in a factory I, that had to be an element with it. But the uh, I was thinking like that was his code for hey get my flask out of my toolbox. Kind of uh, was you know it, it juice this sort of, OJ up. Yeah, but they actually I guess did used to stir it with the screwdriver. That's what started and that's how it got keep, its name. Keeps your it tools stuck. clean, I suppose. My uh, my thing with uh, with vodka. So th- it doesn't have like an overwhelming flavor profile, which is why it mixes so versatile with things like juice. Mm-hmm. But man, drinking that straight, who? Yeah, I, 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 all you get is the burn. I don't, not, I can't pick out a flavor. Not potatoes. Yeah, you're talking about the college that you know the Burnett's days and stuff. Uh, gosh, I feel like Bowman's. We would, we went Bowman's. That was, that was another the other one. Lower shelf tiered vodka. Um, but yeah, you never. Uh, I I don't really remember ever doing shots of it. It was you'd always mix it. Yeah, and even with those, they're so bad you can they still don't hide very well in the mix because it's that the, terrible. The thing about Burnett's, I feel like they said to hell with quality. We're going for quantity because you go to that the vodka section in the store and you're almost overwhelmed with all the like flavors they've got. It's like uh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, lemon the, the and jelly belly of vodka. Yeah, it how is many pretty, flavors can we make? It is about ridiculous. I, I forgot about all the flavored vodkas. Yeah, that was definitely a thing. Burnett's. Oh gosh. Speaking of uh, it being National Potato Day and potato chips, Lay's apparently recently came out, and I I tried it. It's not easy to get your hands on. You have to basically have to live near the distillery that makes it. But Lay's actually has their own potato vodka now. And I, I, I wonder if that would have been sweet if we could have gotten that. Yeah, it would have been so cool to get our hands on it because I have I have a lot of like questions about it. Like, are they using the Lay's chip potatoes? Like, did they just diverge a truck? I, like, I really want to know more about it. I would want them to use actual just potato chips. Just grind them up. Yeah. I wonder if they ferment once they're fried. Mm. That would be the the real test. I am not an expert, but uh, if you feel like that could be done. That's that's one of the stranger collaborations I've heard recently, though, is the Lay's potato chip vodka. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I went screwdriver. You, I don't know if, if you're watching on the, the Facebook Live or the uh, YouTube channel, which, by the way, you can feel free to subscribe. We're 105.3 The Bear on there. Uh, yeah, cranberry vodka. So I got to ask, are you on your period? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, I, I've, yeah, I've, I've been asked that so many times, and... I don't know. I think there's something in my brain. It, it's probably like one of those weird superstitions. Like you say that the water and vodka is the healthiest thing you can drink. I strongly believe like if you have cranberry with vodka, there will be no hangover. I have mm. no evidence to support that, but cranberry juice is good for you. It has to work. I mean, I feel an experiment on the horizon. I mean, I, I've, I've definitely had a vodka cranberry, uh, but I don't know if I've ever if I'm drinking same with the screwdriver. If I'm drinking a screwdriver or a vodka cranberry, that's to me, that's an earlier drink in the day, which means that's not the only thing I'm going to be drinking. That's true. So to only drink vodka cranberries, I mean, I guess it can be done, but uh, yeah, you'd have to give that a try well, and really test it. So I have a, my go-to mixer is Coca-Cola. Now it has to be Coca-Cola. We can't do Pepsi. That's that's not going to work for me because Pepsi's too sweet. So... 
for the most part, outside of tequila, I've never tried it with tequila. I've done tequila and Sprite, but vodka, rum, bourbon, whiskeys, they all get added to Coca-Cola. And there's so much sugar in that that usually I think that's what results in the hangover. So mm-hmm. the theory is I'll day drink and I'll start with the vodka cranberry. and Cran- then that, that would have – do you get it sugar-free or do you get the diet or – no, I, I do not. I, I give but it to you. Cranberry juice has sugar. Usually, this one I didn't because it was the only one I could find that was cold. But usually, I get the one without added sugar. Mm. So it's natural sugar, and that allegedly doesn't have as much an effect. Yeah. Well, I know that the uh, the ones that I always look at, I can't. I mean, honestly, I get like the the store brand, but like the ocean it was it ocean spray. They have the ones that you can get the diet, which will be like it's like five calories per yep. serving, and that doesn't have sugar in it. It has the whatever fake stuff, but that's a good question. Does that stuff give you a hangover? The fake crap, like the Splenda or whatever? I The, the fake I, sugar? Again, another one of those weird drinking superstitions. I, I know someone who, to this day, they still claim that they've never been hungover. They're 35, 36 now, which I think that's absolutely absurd, but they claim it's because they mix everything with Diet Coke, which, of course, has the fake sweetener. And I just don't buy that. No, I've... I've I mean, I always, like like I said, through college, that was my drink was like a rum. Rum and diet was the main thing, and then bourbon and diet is what I switched to. And, yeah, I, I've definitely, I guarantee I've yeah. done nights where I've drank just that and been hungover. Yeah, I, I, I just, I don't buy it, so. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, my screwdriver's gone. It was quite delicious once you mixed it. <laughs> yeah, once you mix it, it's it's golden. I, yeah. don't, I don't recommend shots of Polish potato vodka, though. That's not going to. Yeah, but it would be interesting to see if the uh, the other one is better shot-wise, you know, straight. That being said, I guess we've already had two. <laughs> our, our, our opinions We're going to be much yeah. more liberal with our... Uh... Rating in the next segment, yeah. I think. Uh, that being said, I mean, I guess, I, obviously, once again, just like with the whiskey, not going to be on untapped. But uh, if you had to rate that Polish uh, potato vodka, I, I'd say it's probably, a, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a vodka guy. Like three and a half? I, I don't know. Uh, Out of five? I do I do like vodka. Like I said, my gold standard's absolute, and that gets a five. Uh, this, this, I would give Burnett's maybe a two. Mm-hmm. I'd put this right here at a three. Yeah, it. I would buy it again, but it, it would have to be hard times. Like, there you go. That's that's the only way. That's, Price point wasn't bad. That's that. All right. Well, let's uh let's take a break. We'll play a tune. We'll come back. We'll drink some more vodka. Happy uh, potato, potato day, day, everybody, on Bruce Day Tuesday with one hundred five point three. The Bear. Stick around. <laughs> 